Hey, what up? What up? What up? So we back. I'm dropping this other video for y'all, man. Oh, uh, I know I be dropping these videos out of order, but you know, like I said, now I'm in TNT phase. So I'm gonna just post them as I go through my uh, phone and my GoPro. You know, I'm just gonna post them. I should have put them shits in order, but I didn't. I ain't really got time, so I'm just gonna post them. So, like I said on my PSD, you know, I had a bad trainer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the dude tried to seem pretty cool. He was pretty cool. Uh, I guess his daddy is Donald Trump or something like that. That's all he care about, you know. And I'm like, damn. You know, you talk about this dude more than you do your own family, you know. But, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, second, I got back to the pad, a train, to take my CDL test or whatnot. So, uh, I with a new trainer. His name is uh, Cray Woods. I think that was his name. He a good young dude. He was a good trainer, man. Uh, he got me to pass the CDL test with no problem. And I was only with him for like... What, a couple of days, four, four days, four or five days at the most, and I passed my CDL. So uh, I actually I passed my uh, passed everything. Uh, what's it? The pre-trip, in cab. Uh, I I drew according to the examiner. I drew the whole pre-trip. So they got my ass on that. They made me go through the whole truck. And the day before that, I was asking my examiner. I said, man, what's the main things that they X on the uh, on the exam test. Will I get the cupping or the trailer or the, the the field door or the engine compartment? And he kept telling me, "Hey, if you know it all, you don't have to worry about it." Because some people get the whole pre trip, and I'm like, "Nah, that shit ain't gonna happen to me. I ain't getting the whole pre trip. I just got a gut feeling that I'm gonna get the coupling or something like that." And uh, shit, we get down there to the exam date the next day. Me and my partner, the one that was training, got the whole pre trip. I'm like, oh, shit. We got the whole preacher. He said, yeah, you drew the whole preacher. I looked at him, and I thought in my mind, I said, man, that's some bullshit. That's some real bullshit. I ought to just quit right now because I am know I'm. But you know what? If it hadn't been for my new trainer on the pad, shout out to you, uh, Mr. Woods, man. Hey, he made me learn the whole thing, but I, you know, I have already been studying on my own. So, man. I did the whole pre-trip. I aced that. Uh, the backing, I got a... Uh, my favorite thing with doing the backing was the alley dot. I love the alley dot, man. I don't know what it was, but the alley dot was so simple. It was like, that shit easy. The alley dot was easy. The parallel park, I'm like, man, that's easy too. All that shit was easy. The parallel park, the alley dot, the offset, all that's easy, man. That's the, that's the easy. But the alley dot is the easiest one. For me, I don't know now. A lot of people have trouble with the alley dot. But for me... The alley dot was, uh, I wanted the alley dot, so I was already prepared, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, he gonna give me the alley dot, that's the hardest one, so he gonna give me that. And I'm like, yeah, so he said, uh, he came back, he said, yeah, so you, you, uh, you did it straight back, you did that good, uh, you just did an offset, I did the offset good, and, uh, he said, uh, you drew the alley dot. I mean, not the alley dot, you drew the, uh, parallel. I looked at it like, What? You gonna give me that that BS that that's easy too. So you know what? Boom, killed that. All right. So once I did all the backing, I I made a zero on the back, and I guess they give you a zero. That's a hundred percent, which means you didn't fail none. You had no missiles pull up. And the thing about it is, on my back, and my trainer told me he said, get out and look. But according to my hard head ass, I never got out and looked on none of my back, and I just backed that bitch in and backed it back, and I I was straight. So. uh I never jumped out to look. Even when I parallel part, I never jumped out to make sure it was in the box. I just, boo, boo. I hit that horn and let that thing ride. But, hey, I ain't miss up none. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people have trouble, so I just take your time, whatever, man. Whatever works for you. And if your trainer, you feel like your trainer ain't give you the right pointers, holler at my trainer, man. He, he gonna get it to you straight. Uh, But it, other than that, so the last thing I had to do was the road trip. The road test or whatever. Who can't drive a truck straight? All right. Who can't drive a truck straight? Anybody can drive a car straight. You can drive a bike straight. Hell, you can get on your old lady and ride her straight all night. But anyway, so I get on the damn. We get in the truck. He said, "Yeah, man, just go down here and drive. We're gonna drive to the interstate. Whatever. Cool. 
we get to this red light, right? So shit, I got, I'm, I'm turning to go left to the interstate. So when I cut the light, you know, I slow down. I'm in a big ass truck, so I slow down. Now coming towards me was traffic coming toward me, so I couldn't go nowhere until the traffic cleared. So a dude coming toward me, he get ready to turn right. Now my, my, my light is green, okay? So I'm thinking, shit, I got to right away, but he gonna, he gonna turn right anyway in front of me, so it's cool. So he gets in the turn lane in front of me to turn right, to come in front of me and turn right. So I'm like, yeah, so I go on left. So I'm creeping, you know, I'm in a big truck, so I'm causing hell, even though I got the green light now. So I'm creeping. This motherfucker in front of me jumps out of the turn lane, shoots in front of me to go straight, and I'm already halfway turned. I'm like, what the hell? So I, I hit the brakes and shit. That killed the whole test. My examiner said, well, he said, well, you, really, you got to yield the traffic. And I'm like, well, shit, I had the green light. He was in the turn lane over there going right. I'm going left. He said, yeah, but still, you know, you didn't have the green arrow that says he had to stop and wait, and you're the one supposed to yield. So I'm like, okay, bet. So that killed the whole test right then. But he didn't say it, but I just seen the uh, expression on his face. I can read between the lines, man. So that was it for the whole test. So he still had me go to the state to drive back. We drive back to Prime, whatever. Man, I'm pissed off. I'm like, man, I know this dude finna fail me because of that bullshit right there. Even though I know it wasn't my fault. Man. But anyway, we get back to the pad and shit. And he said, you ace everything, blah, blah, blah. But unfortunately, oh, there go that. Unfortunately, bullshit. I, I'm not going to get my license today because of that little incident. He said, oh, even though it wasn't your fault, but still you still yielded. Even though the dude shouldn't have did what he did. Hell, I done toned out. Dude, I'm pissed off. I'm like, man, this is bullshit, man. This is bullshit, really. But anyway, a day after, it's supposed to be two days, but a day after I came back with a different examiner, we just took the road test. Boom, aced the road test. No problem. Uh, but I did get a bonus. You know, every, what people don't tell you, they tell you uh, you don't get the $250 bonus if you don't trifecta. You do get a bonus if you pay a second time. Let me say that. You look on my, I looked on my check. I had a bonus. So I called Prime and said, what's your bonus here right here? They said, that's because you passed your CDL test. So I did get a bonus. And I don't hear a lot of people saying that. So you do get a bonus if you pass a second time. Now, if you had three, three times, third time, I don't know. But I can tell you what, man. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm in TNT phase. Shit. We went to, uh, from Missouri. Let's see. From Missouri, we went to uh, New Mexico, Arizona. Then we went to California, and I'm just like, damn, well, we ride. So we get to California, want the tires blow out. Well, I guess it was a retread, a recap. Some people call it recap, and I don't know if uh, some of you people know what recap is. All right, yeah, we had a recap that popped off. And recaps are, are retread is just... They just put rubber on an old tire that was already messed up anyway. They scrape it and they put a new tire on there and shit. And the reason I know this stuff is like I say, I got another YouTube channel that uh some of you guys don't know about. But uh, I got another YouTube channel. That's all I do is I work on cars, you know, remove engines, transmissions and stuff, you know, seal cars, dirt bikes, motor, uh, motorcycle. And that's, that's, but that's on my other uh, YouTube page, man. We ain't gonna get them taller. But anyway, yeah, we had to get that tire fixed and shit. So then from uh, Cali, we went from Cali all the way to Connecticut. Yeah, that's on the other side of America. So we went to this part of America, the end of America, to the next part of America. So we running, we running the miles up. So I'm with this new uh, TNT trainer now. As you see it on one of my videos, he ain't really show his face. But I'm gonna give him the show his face before I get off the truck. Now, if everything go good, like, he don't bother me or nothing, man, you know. The first two days I got with him, I drove days. The first two days I drove in the daytime. But now he got it where we where we switched up at night, whatever. So I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I drive at night. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no complaining. But as long as he don't get in the computer, fuck my time or something like that. And sometimes I notice when you know, we switch, he had probably about an hour left or two hours left on his clock, which is cool. Shit, I run my whole 12, 13 hours out. I run them shits out to like 30 minutes. And the alarm start beeping. J violation, he violation, he in violation. If he well, I run that shit down. Cause I'm a night owl anyway. But at the same time, he tell me like that. He said, "Look, if you get tired, man, you get sleepy for any reason, don't force yourself to drive. Just pull over to a truck stop and and we'll we'll uh we'll, we'll figure it out." I said, "Bet that's what I like." But shit, what I don't like is Arizona and, and New Mexico, all the mountains and shit. You know, I'm coming out of mountains. I'm going down 40, 40 mile an hour in these mountains, man. Shit, 
I ain't taking no chance. I got loaded onions and I got coals and and you these truck coming flying past me. I'm like, what the hell was that? And they get down there and they fly on them bounce. Man, I see why I be so many red, man. But I ain't that ain't me, man. I, I drive slow because at the end of the day, ain't none of these motherfuckers gonna pay my ticket. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of them gonna pay my ticket. Ain't none of them gonna bring me back to life when the truck. These truck, man, I learned something watching video. These truck mostly fiberglass. Fiberglass ain't strong, man. I don't give a damn what nobody say. These truck, man, I think they should have built their row bars, you know, for these truck. These big trap for 18 wheeler, man. Cause as soon as they wreck something, they crush like paper. And, uh, DOT, I get it. They they do a lot of brake inspections and all that, but hell, they need to inspect these damn trucks, man, because they made out of paper. It's just like living in a paper trailer, a trailer that's built in 1960. You know what I'm saying? These travel trucks ain't safe, y'all, so, you know, don't rush for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to say them old, them old, like them old Peterbilt that's built out of steel. Yeah. Now, I, I wouldn't mind. I feel a little safer wrecking in them, but these, these new ones... Man, these, these Cascadias and all them, man, they more fiberglass than anything, man. So as soon as they wreck a flower here, cancel that shit. You ain't living. But anyway, um, I'm just like, man, I'm in TNT right now. I don't even know how many miles I get. When I'm in TNT, I don't worry about the miles. I ain't worried about the miles. And I don't even look at the hours when I'm driving until that damn quad come. They go, beep, 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 beep. Violation, beep, 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 beep. Violation, you know what I'm saying? But the quad come, man. I know it's dark up in here, man. But I'm pretty sure y'all can see me, man. But, uh, I'm going to keep dropping these videos. And I got another video, man. I forgot to post. I'm going to post it probably after this one. About, uh, shit. About, uh, about when I got dropped back off a of terminal with my bullshit and trainer, man. Hey, I'm telling you, a lot of these trainers, man, they just, they got this little thing at Prime where... You know who can who can get the most train who can get the most trainees and this and that and half of them don't give a shit about you man they want that extra money you know what i'm saying if you be in here if you try fake i think they get like 850 dollars but if you don't and you still pay they still get like seven or something if i'm not mistaken and then if you still here after six months they still get a bonus and then i guess a year or something like that they still get money from you being here or every percent per mile they get bonus so you just go figure you don't you don't train twenty students, and all of them stay with Prime, and you just still got the income coming in from training students that you train, right? So that's bank right there. So what they doing? Like I said, what Prime doing? They say you train, you get all this extra money. So a lot of these people they ain't fit to be trainers at all. But they want you to pass, or they want you on their trucks, this and that, to get all that damn money off of you with that shit. At the same time, they don't give two shits about you. I know this because I talk. There's a lot of trainers out there that'll talk to you. It's, it's some good trainers. I I met like four of them so far that'll tell you what the scheme is with the rest of these folks. And they tell me, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, that fucked up, man. And me, I'm thinking like, yeah, that's a lot of money they paying y'all to be trainers. But at the same time, I'm not fit to be a trainer straight up because I don't I don't give a damn if you if you if you well you, I ain't gonna say it. Prime, you paid me a million dollars to be a trainer. Hell yeah, I go. But I want to take classes because I want to learn how to talk to people. And treat people, but at the same time, hell no, nah, I ain't being a trainer because I don't like being around people that much. I mean, I can't hold a conversation with people, so is it like a female shit? If I see a fine ass female and I was single, I ain't finna holler at her because hell, I don't know, I ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? Rejection, I'm cool with that, but at the same time, shit. I feel a woman can holler at a man just like a man holler at a woman, shit. If you like that dude, you think he look good, shit, holler at him. Don't sit there and try to look pretty and walk off like you act like you shit don't stink, you know. But anyway, so I'm rambling. But uh, yeah, man, I just I think it's, it's a couple of good trainers out there, man, and y'all don't have to go through that BS, man. But uh, I'm in TNT right now, trying to knock down these thirty thousand miles with the trainer. The trainer he been good so far the last couple of weeks. He don't bother me, you know what I'm saying? He's pretty cool dude. So I'm gonna hang in there until some shit start getting iffy. If it start getting iffy, then I'm gonna bounce. I ain't gonna bounce on Prime, but I'm gonna bounce and give me a new damn trainer. But he seemed pretty cool, man. I mean, he he let me use his gas. Well, he don't use his gas. So I use my Prime card and I fuel and I use my own rewards card and I get points. You know what I'm saying? I get my own shower points right now. I'm diamond status with love, so I shower anytime I want. Don't we stop? You know. But uh, I'm gonna make another video. I'm gonna cut this shit off. Uh, 
I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. I see the, I see I'm getting more subscribers subscribers on this video. Like I said, you ain't got to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to, man. It's just, I'm just giving you a little info, uh, what's going on. If y'all want to know anything, uh, hit me back, uh, comment down. But I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a clip up of, uh, I think it's New Mexico, Arizona. I'm going to throw a clip up in just a second. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw that clip up right now so I get back with y'all.